Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Remy and today I wanted to record a day in my life because I am taking my SPI today. If you are not also an ultrasound student or currently a stenographer in the field, then you probably have no idea what that is. It is the first board exam that I need to take on my journey to becoming a stenographer and it is all physics. So this big physics board exam that I'm taking, I still have like a year before I graduate, but this one, I think you have to do it before you start clinicals. I don't really know. So that's in about an hour. And first I'm going to the chiropractor. I actually have been kind of out of commission for the last week because I've had some like shoulder pain issues. Like even holding my phone like this is, I'm kind of noticing it. So I've been to the chiropractor a few times already in the last like week and a half. It is getting better. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go in again because I'm also going back to work today for the first time in a little while. I didn't work last week, so just wanna make sure that I'm taking care of myself. You know, especially as a future sonographer, it's so, so important that we take care of our bodies, we make sure that we're, you know, feeling our best and um, aren't potentially causing any injuries because so many people leave the field because of injuries like that, like shoulder stuff and wrist stuff. And so I just wanna, you know, stop anything before it starts and make sure that I'm not gonna cause some sort of long-term problem. But yeah, so that's my first stop of the morning. <laughs> Ooh, that made such a big difference. I'm feeling a lot better about going back to work because um, I just, I'd been a little bit nervous because um, of my shoulder stuff, but yeah, I think I can do it. I think I might stop at McDonald's really quick before I go to my test because I still have some time. Alright, I'm here outside the testing facility to take my SPI and I really wasn't that nervous because I'm pretty good at physics but one of my classmates already took it this morning. You have to sign up for a time at a testing center so we're kind of all taking it at different times and one of my classmates took it this morning and she said that it was really hard and she passed, but like barely, like just by a few points. And now that is making me a little nervous. <sighs> Wish me luck. For me, it's gonna be a few hours, but for you, it's gonna be a few seconds. So let's see how I do. <laughs> I passed, I passed, I passed and I did really well. I did really well. Oh my gosh, I need to call my parents. All right, I'm just stopping home for a couple minutes. I'm about to go to work, but like I said, I passed, um, I called my mom, I texted my physics instructor, and yeah, I'm really proud because I did get a, a pretty good score on it. Not that it really matters, it's kind of more of a pass-fail thing, so I passed and I don't have to worry about it anymore, so that feels great. Um, <laughs> just like this huge pressure off me. I've been studying and just this has been like some big thing in the background for a while now that is just off my shoulders, so that's great. Um, yeah, and so I kind of explained earlier that I had been out of work for the last week. Partially it's because of like testing at school and with this and everything and I needed to study, but also partially it was because my shoulder had been hurting really badly. And I don't for sure know why. I think it might have been related to work and just like, you know, a lot of like strain, but also maybe a little bit related to like school and scanning and stuff. I'm not 100% sure, um, but it's been doing better and um, I, I think I'm ready to go back to work. So hopefully today goes well. And then if it goes well, then I'll do probably eight hour shifts um, through the rest of the weekend. So it turns out that it was a really great decision that I went PRN because when I wasn't able to work, I could just not schedule myself to work instead of having to call in or like trade shifts with people or whatever. So that worked out really well. And this week actually they are super understaffed probably because they have a lot of students who work there and everyone's in finals and stuff. For me it's midterms but you know whatever, same diff. And um, so they're very understaffed this week and normally for picking up a shift I get two dollars more than like the regular rate but this week I get ten dollars more than the regular rate. So, because I'm picking up shifts instead of just being on the schedule, I get that. So hopefully I'm feeling well enough to pick up more shifts. Uh, but yeah, going PRN was like the best decision ever. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna head to work now and make my money. Okay, so I just got off work and just like I expected, it was crazy, crazy, crazy busy today. I think they're just super short staffed because one, it's final so a lot of people aren't there, but then also we just started and like a whole new department um, 
or like sub department, I guess, this month. So now instead of just being patient transport, we also have patient observers. So that kind of has a spread thin. So very, very busy. Um, and I worked a lot earlier in the day than I normally do, which means that I can't leave. Uh, <laughs> well, I can, I just have to pay to leave. Um, and I don't want to do that. So I just have to sit here for like 15 minutes because normally I work a lot later at night. So the parking garage is just open and I can just drive out. But right now it's a normal parking garage and I don't feel like paying. So I'm just gonna sit here for like 15 more minutes and then go home and get ready because I'm going out tonight. But honestly, like traffic is probably super crazy right now anyway. So either I can sit here and like look at my phone and stuff or I have to sit in traffic and just stare at someone's bumper. So whatever, it's fine. <laughs> All right, I'm home now and I'm gonna go out to get some drinks and celebrate the fact that I passed my SPI. Um, so I'm just getting ready really quick. I just took a quick like body shower because I was stinky after work. Um, it's still like 80 degrees even though it's December because Texas, um, but this is just BB cream that I'm putting on. I'm not doing any sort of like proper technique. I'm literally just gonna rub it in like lotion and then put powder foundation on top because I'm not Fancy. So some people are probably like cringing through the screen and like, I get it, but also, I don't care. <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the point of BB cream, I feel like. It's basically like a tinted moisturizer. If I was using like actual foundation, I would probably use a sponge or maybe a brush or something, but BB cream, I do not care that much. <laughs> and some powder. A lot of people don't use powder, apparently, but I feel like it's so necessary to, like, I don't know, not sweat everything off. I mean, I guess if it's winter and you actually have a winter where you live, maybe you don't need powder, but I don't know. I really like it. I might need to touch up my eyebrow just a little bit because I think some of it kind of got wiped off, maybe when I showered but they're mostly still good, I think. That works. But if you're looking for a makeup tutorial, you're in the wrong place. I think in high school, I was pretty good at doing makeup, and then I just like kind of forgot everything and trends changed anyway. So I still have one week left of school before going to Christmas break, which I think is kind of weird because we still have school the same week as Christmas. I don't think I've ever had to go to school quite that late in the school year before, but it's better than doing midterms after we get back, I guess. And yes, I'm in midterms right now and not finals because our semesters are very weird. Um, I keep talking about like, oh, I have all these tests at school this week and everyone's like, oh yeah, finals. And I'm like, no, it's not. <laughs> so it's very weird. Uh, this semester for me ends in March. And we have three semesters per year, which I guess technically makes them trimesters, but we don't call them trimesters, we just call them semesters. Um, I feel like I overdid the eyeliner wings. I have to get so close to the mirror to see what I'm doing for eyeliner, but I may or may not be getting LASIK very soon, so then I won't have to wear glasses all the time and I can actually see when I'm doing makeup. What lip should I do? I could do this one that's kind of more of a nude. Which I really like. Or this one that's like in the bottle it's more pink, but on me it looks very red. I don't know if I want that bold of a look. Probably just go with this nude one. And this is the finished look. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will continue to update you all about my ultrasound journey and whatever else is going on in my life. So make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!